Podcast. My name is Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be creating a gratitude journal. And the truth is, every journal I create is a gratitude journal. It's really about doing what you love and being thankful for it. Now here I am adding washi tape to cardstock, and I'm going to turn these pages into the inserts for my journal. Now I'm going to add some texture to those pages by using some of my favorite acrylic paint, my mono printing plate, and some of my stencils. Now, as you can see, when I'm mono printing on a large plate, I like to use the plate and create multiple sections and pages at a time. So here I'm just adding some of my favorite colors and I'm adding multiple pages to the plate on top of each other, picking up little bits of color here and there. Now, I've never tried this before, so I wasn't exactly sure how that washi tape was going to work. The only thing I know is that it has a very light tack, and so my hope was to peel it off once the acrylic paint was dry. Now my original plan was to remove the washi tape once the acrylic paint dried and I would be left with these clean, beautiful textured stripes of acrylic paint. But as you can see, in some of the areas the tape came off cleanly and in others not so much. Now here's the thing about creativity, there are no mistakes. It's really about trying new things and having fun. Next up, I'm gonna trim all of my pieces. I cut the inserts to four by eight and a half. And then I take some mixed media paper. I cut that down to three and a half by three and a half, as well as that black cardstock. And then lastly, I take some double tack dry adhesive film and I cut that into three by three. Next up, I'm folding those page inserts in half, and then I'm gonna create some tabs using a tab punch. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a pair of scissors to create some tabs. And I'm going to attach the tabs directly onto the pages using a stapler. Then I add some ink to all of the edges, and then I attach those page inserts using that double tack dry adhesive film. I also attach that black cardstock to both the front and the back of the journal. Now this is a relatively thin journal, so I'm going to go ahead and bind all of the pages together just using a little bit of waxed linen thread, an awl, and a thick needle. Now here I'm just showing you how I'm going to thread it. I basically start in the center and then just thread all of the pages, keeping it nice and simple. You can use that diagram for reference. And now for some finishing touches, I added some washi tape to the binding of the journal, as well as adding a title to the front cover and I added the word now to all the tabs because now is always the perfect time to be grateful. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and for more ideas on using Amsterdam acrylic or any Royal Talons products, make sure you stop by royaltalons.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.